Bosnia and Herzegovina has spoken. Two of the three seats in the presidential election have gone to reformist moderate candidates. Separatist Serb Jelka Sivanovic has won the presidential seat for Republika Srpska. Both Bosniak and Croat winners call for unity and the need to move forward. The lives of our people in this country are the most important, and that's why I call on all people to unite so that the citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina will be better off. Congratulations to all citizens of Bosnia for this victory of my party and myself. Now we can really talk about big changes in Bosnia. But the evening was overshadowed by high representative for Bosnia, Christian Schmidt. As polls closed, he announced he would be making changes to the constitution, electoral law and to the size of the lower parliament. With today's decisions, no political party or anybody elected will be able to hold the federation hostage anymore. The timing of the announcement has been questioned by experts. For democracy, it's a step back. I mean, we've been struggling as, as an unconsolidated democracy with uh, 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 really affirming uh, democratic principles. The elections are taking place regularly. They are not free, they are not fair, but they are still taking place. And I think that the improvements in this country are incremental. Um, what we're seeing right now, what we are going to see right now, is a reversal of these trends. Every single decision made by the high representative takes a few steps back in this development. The fear was if a Croat separatist candidate was elected to the Croat seat, then it would increase tensions. It would have given two-thirds of the presidency control over specific state institutions. Separatist leader Milorad Dodik declared victory for the presidency of the Republika Srpska entity. Is opportunity to... I am proud that I was the candidate and now confirmed president of Republic of Srpska. And I will do everything so that Republic of Srpska continues to be stable, to conduct its own policy, to cooperate with our important partners like Serbia, Russia and Hungary. Voter turnout was at 50%, the lowest the country has seen since after the war that ended in 1995. I voted, that's my duty, but there is no change for the people, it is just a rotation. Every change is good if good people are leading, no matter if they are red, yellow, white or blue, if it is good for the country. And change will take a great deal of effort from all political parties. Politicians in the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina face the same challenges as before the elections. They still have to contend with two separatist Serb presidents. And although it may be a consolation to some that the separatist Croat wasn't elected, constitutional and electoral law changes are also being imposed on them by the high representative, someone Bosnians didn't vote for. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Sarajevo.